What's up guys, thank you very much for joining me today. My name is Asale from AP Tech, helping you grow further and faster in YouTube. In this channel, we do tips and strategies and also tech gear review just like this one. So today we're going to review this software from Video Pro. So it's called a Video Pro Vlogger and this software has astonished me because it's actually free. So this definitely beats for those who are starting up for YouTube, doing your vlogs, your home cooking, your tutorials, um, any sort of a startup YouTube. For those who cannot afford these softwares that cost over $100, this software is perfect for you. It's actually free. You don't need to pay anything. There's no subscription or anything. You can use this software for free. So what I'm going to do now is uh, jump into my trusty computer, walk you through, explain to you what I think about this software. Obviously this software is new, expect some enhancement coming through, but I'll be giving you my honest, my feedback about this software and also what I think about it at the end of the video. So if you do want to stick around and you want to download this software, I'll leave a link in the description um, should you wish to go ahead. I would obviously walk you through my ups and downs comparing to these top end softwares that I've used myself, but this video editor is perfect for you. So this is basically a software. So if I show you the interface, so the software, as soon as you load the software, you don't have any inputs videos here. So all you need to do is you can add your videos from here by clicking this plus sign, and then you just need to locate your video, which video that you're interested in, in uploading. So I'm going to upload this particular video here, and then once you've uploaded, all of the videos will show on your media library. So next to the media library, you've got transition. So transitions is basically, um, you can fade in, fade out. So it's totally up to you what you want to do. You've got titles here that you can select from. Um, so these are tons of titles. Obviously expect these to be expanded later in future. Effects, there are tons of effects. I was actually um, impressed these all of these effects, but obviously if you're doing a, a straightforward video, like a vlog uh, as this software is targeting, so you might not want to put a lot of effects in there, but that's totally up to you based on your taste. So that's why I'm saying that this software is actually targeted a lot more than vloggers. If I show you a couple of examples, what you can do with, so if I drag and drop, so you just need to drop that into your timeline, just like any other software. So I'm going to drop these down here and this one here, for example. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna add a title. In order to add a title, so all you need to do is just literally press that and then you select what type of title, title that you're interested in. So this is totally up to you what you want to do. So I'm going to drag that underneath here, just drop it, and then I'm going to edit the title itself. You can change the title by literally scrolling down and then edit text. So in here you can edit and write whatever you want. So I'm going to type why I am returning Harmon Cardone speaker. And then I'm going to apply. So that has applied my title. So I'm going to put my cursor back where I want the video to start from. So as soon as I click play, you've got the title showing right there. That's fading in, fade is gonna fade out. And that's perfect. So let's just say you don't want it right in the middle of the title. So you can literally change that where you want it by changing it the vertical format and the horizontal. So if I take you back here, that's where the title is. Pause. So vertically, if I want it down, I can move it down there. If I want it so high, I can move it up there. So it's literally, or you can punch in the percentage that you're interested in. It's totally up to you. If you want it to uh, move it to the side, feel free to move that. So it's totally up to you, you can do that. So that's literally covering your title. If you want to do a transition, I would suggest you for those who are doing your videos to go for the basic ones. Fades are the best ones that I, in my opinion, uh, you can you can never go wrong. So you can fade in from one video. You can see that it automatically knows that where you can drop it. So if I press play and that's my title in there and then it fades out from this video to the next video. You can see that and it goes a bit blank and then it opens the new video. So let's say you're not interested in that. All you need to do is literally go back in there and then you can delete that fade by hitting the back arrow. You can add other different type of fades. So one that I thought it was quite cool, it's this one here. So if I add that fade in there and I play the video and that's how it looks like 
when it fades out to the next video it nicely comes in as a luma fade so this is actually something really cool for those who do a lot of vlogging another thing like for example if you notice this video has an audio and you want to get rid of the audio by literally double clicking you can detach the audio from there and the audio dropped right at the bottom so as soon as you drops at the bottom all you can do is just literally delete so this video has completely no audio so if i play this video there's no audio whatsoever that's another tip you can do if you want to change the color you just need to select the, the video itself do your color plate here and this actually shows you real life how you, it's going to look like so so far i actually like this one here rather than different type of colors so it's totally up to you what you want to go ahead with my favorite is this one here and then on top of that you can play with the, the color wheel here if you don't want it that too much intense you can reduce the intensity from here and to go back let's just say you mocked up the the value you can just literally hit the arrow it resets itself same thing here it resets itself from the scratch where you left it off another thing that you can do with this one here obviously uh, the basic ones it's a uh, trimming video so you can trim cut like that you can scroll in and out the video it's like a magnet system just like the final cut pro or any other top softwares it attracts itself one very important thing that i would recommend is first set your video quality what quality that you're interested in and where you're going to export to. So, so far I've set it on 4K. This is the top of the range. It actually formats in 4K. So, or you can edit in 1080p and then format it later in 4K. But I, my videos are already in 4K. So I'm going to export in 4K. So you've got 4K, 2K, 1080p. And obviously you can have it in a different vertical format if you want it as a TikTok, Instagram, um, any other, other type of um, devices. So, so far I'm going to leave it as a 4K desktop. So we're going to click OK. So another thing what you can do is, so you can do a speed ramp, you can do a crop, you can also do a motion. So let's say you've got a still video that you've just literally fixed it in one angle. You can play a motion, you can move it from one side to the next side or what you can do is you could have it the video from up to down so whatever you are interested in or your scenery is another thing obviously with any type of softwares you can do voiceover you can record you can add text you can literally do a lot of things obviously speed ramp cut we already showed you split if you want to split certain things from the video and the speed ramp so the speed ramp is totally up to you so i'm not going to show you what you want to do with the speed ramp so i'm going to cancel that for now it shows you here your overlay so you've got your music if you want to add music and so you can add multiple musics here so you've, you can do your voiceover and then you've got a background music same thing with the title you can have multiple overlays so it's totally up to you what you want to do so to export the video obviously you just need to hit the export what quality you want to export at so i want it to export as high as possible which is um, that's the highest and then on top of that what frame rate you want it at 25 you want it at 30 so i would advise you to keep it as whatever frame rate that you've recorded at if you recorded at 30 frames per, per second then i will suggest you to keep it the same so i'm going to leave it as 30 and then all the way down here this is the audio output you can go up the audio so 48,000 is the max so obviously same thing with the video quality the audio quality the higher the better and then you just need to hit start to start uh, saving your file another thing is that you can select what type of files that you want to interested in so mp4 is the most advisable so i'm going to go ahead with that and then i'm clicking save so that's literally downloading the video so i'm going to stop this obviously there's no point in me um, saving the file because i've not finished with the uh, editing the file so expect another video coming through why i'm going to return harman kardon um, speakers so if you are interested in watching that video be sure to subscribe to the channel and also give us a thumbs up for this one here so finally what is my take out for this software i think this software is pretty good it's pretty much um, up there but obviously it's not as good as final cut pro which costs about 300 dollars so this software is free i'm going to leave a link in the description should you wish to go ahead and download for free well we have reached to the end of this video if you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and follow us on social media such as Instagram and Facebook. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Till next time, peace out.